Hi from the Art Room. Today I'd like to introduce you to a project that my art students and Mrs. Fulton's art students are working on here at St. Rose. It is called the Memory Project. The Memory Project is a collaboration of art students and young individuals living in refugee camps around the world. This is an opportunity for students to do fundraising as well as creating a lasting piece of art. Our AP art students and advanced drawing students have been working for about two weeks on this project. And as we know, the greatest gift you can give anyone is the gift of time. I'm going to let our students talk a little bit about the project and hope you enjoy the results. Thank you. We're working on the memory project and basically what that is, is it's a fundraiser and um, we all get kids from refugee camps in Syria and we make portraits of them to send it to them because a lot of them are orphans and they don't really have much and so we are making something for them to keep forever. Beautiful. What medias are you using? Talk to me a little bit about your artwork um, and how you well, approached it. This is the original piece and this was made from pastel and then I made a copy of it and I'm going over to do the background in color pencil and I'm making the background red because that's her favorite color. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about your approach and what we're... Um, well, I first started with doing her face and then I went into the background to do <laughs> yellow. <laughs> um, uh, because that's her favorite color. Beautiful. I love how you're handling the background there. It's a really nice pattern. Are you enjoying the project? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. What do you like about it? Um, I like the idea of the end result that they're going to have this to carry around with them wherever they go. Yeah, wonderful. How about you, Isabel? You enjoying the, the project? and Do you feel a connection to these kids? I do, yeah. I mean, we've spent about a little over two weeks working on these projects, and before that, we got assigned the kids. So we've pretty much had these kids for like a month or so. So um, <laughs> it's kind of been like you form a connection, even though you don't know them, you don't know much about them except their name, their age, and their favorite color. But um, you have to kind of capture their expression, and you have to kind of assume that they've been through a lot, and um, that kind of makes you have like an empathy for these kids. Very nice. I love how you said capture the expression as I'm going around looking at your art. You certainly have. The likenesses are beautiful. Um, and, you know, and pastel is not the easiest material, so you're doing a beautiful job. Hi, Marco. Hey, what's up? Uh, how are you feeling about this project? Pretty good. Yeah, in what way can you? Um, well, right now I'm close to finishing my final piece, so I made a copy and I'm going over it with different color pencils to, uh, you know, really get those fine edges and make sure it looks, you know, as good as I want it to be. Mm -hmm. Beautiful job. Uh, what's been an obstacle? Um, probably a lot of the facial work, just cause like I find it pretty hard to draw uh, the human face. Oh, I think you've captured it beautifully. Very, very nice. As a matter of fact, that's a nice comparison right there. Hey, Matt, can you turn your board around a little bit and talk to us about how you're approaching this and how you feel about the project? Beautiful. Very nice job. Well, how do you feel about the project? Pretty cool. Uh, like everyone else has said, the end result is basically just going to keep them together. Like everyone's going to have this when they're all when we're all done. Very nice. Very nice. Well, I'm going to scoot around and just take one more peek at what everyone's doing. And uh, has anyone, where's the hardest part to get the expression? I think the mouth and the eyes yeah. are really hard. They tell the story, right? Yeah. Are you, are you, are you seeing a story in their faces? Yes. Yeah, they've yeah. been through a lot. Yeah, they have. Uh, here's the work of Sophia. And she's going to tell us a little bit about uh, how much she's enjoying the project. Uh, currently using colored pencils to draw the portrait of the little girl in the Syrian refugee camp. What's been challenging, Sophia, in your art? It's beautiful. Thank you. Um, probably blending it all has been a challenge, but other than that, I've had a really nice time drawing the portraits for the girl. I see that. They're, they're wonderful. So are you using colored pencil? Yes. Very nice. That's a hard medium. Hi, Tim. What are you working on and what are you finding challenging? Or uh, I'm also working on the memory project mm -hmm. and uh, the challenging part is also blending. Yeah. 
I'm trying to get it more realistic and organic, but oh, it looks too much. You're doing a very nice job, actually. Thanks. Nice, accurate drawing. How was drawing the portraits? Difficult or? Uh, using the grid, it made it easier uh -huh. to actually get all the perfect shapes and the positioning on the face. Eyes are a big part of your face. Kind of, a lot of people focus on them. Uh huh. And I don't know, it's just you caught something. them beautifully. How about you, Tim? You too? Uh, yeah, I like the eyes because even if it's on the same person, it's not symmetrical. Two yeah. different eyes and two different shapes and. That's a good observation they are. Joelle, how about you? Are you enjoying the project? Yes, and what I find most challenging is definitely the eyes. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, do you feel that's where the expression lies? Yes. Very All nice. And what medium are you using nice. also? I'm using colored pencils. Oh, you're doing a lovely job. You're really capturing the expression very well. Hi, so this is the end of our memory project, and as you can see, it is a wonderful art collaboration that brings a focus to the plight of these Syrian refugee children. Thank you.